Alright, I posted that video about being afraid of getting locked out of YouTube. I made a 27 minute video, then it booted me out, I closed the fucking video because I guess my phone overheated, I don't know how. So I got a cliff note, a whole rant that I did. But you know what, it also gave me some perspective. The first problem we have with this country, corporations rule the world. Governments don't have any power anymore. That's just how it is. Microsoft, Amazon, Disney, they rule the world. Companies like that rule the world. Companies that you've never heard of that you think are just, oh, well, that's just whatever, whatever. No, they own, so, did you know Disney owns ESPN? Why? It's a newscasting organization for sports. Why do they own it? But they own it. Another form of media that they control. What I really was trying to get to, the ultimate point of my video, I gotta make this short because my phone's gonna overheat and delete. 27 minutes and I wasn't even done. <sighs> People need to stand up, stop paying rent, stop going to work, form communities, and tell the systems that be, go fuck yourself. I can't arrest all of us. We are controlled by corporations that don't even treat their own employees as people. That's sad. Look at Amazon. Look at the complaints that come from Amazon. Pregnant women having miscarriages at work because of how they're treated. Not even allowed to use the fucking bathroom. And Jeff Bezos goes to fucking space. Hundreds of millions to billions of dollars that he could have put towards feeding the homeless. Infrastructure. Raising his employees' menial wages. No. I'm going to go to space for three minutes and spend a billion dollars on it. These people have the nerve to talk to us about how we can pull ourselves up from the bootstraps. You can do I did it. You can do it. No. Not in your world. Not the world that you created. No, we can't. It's impossible. Some of us get lucky. Most of us can't. Most of us are so s trapped and trying to educate ourselves to get better jobs or just working week to week to week to week to try to survive. It's impossible. Look at the very system we have for schooling. Our children are being brainwashed and being taught the most useless shit on the planet. Your kid can do the Pythagorean theorem, but they don't know the basic signs of depression. Your kid can quote to you, King Henry VIII, how did he kill his wives? But they can quote it to you, What's a checkbook? Oh, they don't know. Uh, what's a mortgage? Oh, they don't know. Uh, what's interest? Oh, they don't know. How do you get a credit card? Oh, I don't know. What's a, what's, um, where does money come from? How do I invest? They don't know. But they can dissect a frog. They can tell you the history of Europe. Like, anyone gives a fuck. We're in America. Not that it's not important, but that should be an elective, not a forced fed thing. Now they're trying to teach kids about other cultures by forcing kids, kid kids, to learn Sharia law and pray on prayer mats like Muslims do. Not that there's anything wrong with Muslims. But what does that have to do with how my kid's going to grow up in this real world in this country and survive? I know people who are in their 30s who can't change a fucking tire. And it's not their fault. I was homeschooled up until college. My parents taught me the things they thought I needed to know. How to invest. How to balance a checkbook. How to plan for the future. How to skin a fish. How to fish. How to grow crops. How to take care of plants. How to build a house. How to build buildings in general. Uh, where money camp comes from how the economy works, what is interest, that kind of stuff. They taught me that stuff. And then I went to college and I realized like, wow, college doesn't teach me anything at all really that I need for real life. These courses are expensive as fuck and most of them are the same. I took a, I didn't, come, I didn't get my degree, but I took all but nine credits that I needed to get my AS in criminal justice. 
I had to take at least seven criminal justice classes. Five of the seven that I took were the same fucking class. I never opened a book. I had one book that I kept. It was Intro to Criminal Justice. I kept that book. And that book got me through seven other classes. And I got A's and B's. One class was like a C plus. That was because the teacher hated me because he was a fucking liberal asshole and didn't like that I was coming at certain viewpoints conservatively. But I went to the dean and got it fixed later. But it was still bullshit. I had to go to the dean to get my grade changed because he didn't like my perspective on a paper. I'm not paying you to judge my perspective. I'm paying you to judge my work. You don't like that I'm a Republican or a conservative? Go fuck yourself. That's not what I'm paying you for. Judge my work. There's a lot of people in college right now that take some bullshit from a lot of professors. Let me get this. You're paying them to teach you. That teacher's your employee. You are paying that school to pay that teacher to teach you something. If they tell you you can't go to the bathroom, or they're telling you that if you do this and that, I'll fail you, you take that shit to the dean immediately. Immediately. You're paying to be there. I don't care what the fucking college's rules are. You're paying to be there. You're paying to be taught. As long as you show up on time, even if you're late a few times, you have that prerogative. You're paying to be there. Don't let them fucking steamroll you like they tried to steamroll me. I went to the dean of several different de education departments in that college. I went to the math dean, the, the uh, criminal justice dean, and the English dean to get my grades changed because of bullshit that was utterly irrelevant to the topics in hand. Because they didn't like that I came at it from a Christian, conservative, Republican point of view. And they would try to give me D's and C's and I would go to the dean and get A's. I literally handed a paper to the dean of criminal justice and he read it and said, this is an A-plus paper, easily. I would use this in a school as a demonstration. And I said, really? And he's like, yeah, this is great. What? What's the problem? And I said, he gave me a D. That fucking dean got up, walked me to that classroom with the teacher in the middle of teaching that class pulled the teacher outside and said, what the fuck is your problem? Now, mind you, I don't know what the political or, or, or beliefs of this dean was. This dean ripped this teacher's teacher a new asshole in the hallway outside of his own class. He said, how dare you give this guy a D? This is an A paper. Well, he didn't address this, that, and the other, and my, the dean was like, bullshit, I read it. You asked for five citations, he gave you 12. You asked for six pages, he gave you eight. The grammar's perfect, and he gets the point across. Why did you give him a D? And literally, this teacher's only defense was, as well, it didn't, uh, I didn't agree with how he this, that, and the other. He's like, you're not paid to agree with him. You're paid to judge his work, his citations, his verbal etiquette, and that's it. Let me tell, I don't care who's watching this, I'll say it right now. If you're a teacher and your politics are known by your students, if your students know that you're a Democrat or a Republican or whatever, you have failed as a teacher, quit. Please quit. And by the way, go home and sit there and think about what you've done. You are an educator. Your opinions have no say. Your political affiliations have no say. I cannot believe the crap I hear about middle schoolers and high schoolers being forced to learn things, and it's all from a certain political perspective. It doesn't, that shouldn't matter. Kids are being trained to work nine to five, and then do. It used to be one hour back in the '80s. It was one hour of homework after school per kid normally. Now it's four hours. Your kids are going into school for eight hours a day then having to come home and do an average of four hours of homework a day and then have only four hours to themselves to have fun and be a kid. And yet you want your these kids to have eight hours of sleep. They don't get eight hours of sleep because they have no freedom. It's called revenge. What's it called? Um, I, 
can't remember what it's called. But there's this there's this mental thing where it's basically you're getting revenge on the day and the revenge on the lack of freedom you have in your life by staying awake late so you have more time to yourself. That's what these kids are doing. They're exhausted. They're being brainwashed. They're being overworked. And te- and parents can't do anything to stop it because both parents work 40 plus a week to support the family. Tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that you haven't seen this. Tell me your kids aren't coming home and talking about shit. You're like, what the fuck did you learn? Where did you hear this? And you can't even go to the teacher or go to the class to talk about it with the teacher about what are you teaching my fucking kid? Because you have to work tomorrow. So does mom. Oh, but by the way, if uh, your kid, if you decide to put your kid out of school or your kid uh, is too rowdy in school or doesn't agree based on what you're teaching them as their parent, they'll take your fucking kids away. Tell me I'm wrong. If you don't conform to what the education system says that your kids need to learn or do or provide, they take your kids from you. Tell me I'm wrong. Kid gets too many fucking truancy things because you keep getting stuck in traffic, dropping your kid off. Who suffers? Why are kids getting put in detention for showing up to school late? They can't fucking drive. They have no power over that. Mommy or daddy gets stuck in traffic three times in a row and the kid gets detention. Kid gets punished for something that has nothing to do with him that he has no control over. That's how schools treat kids. It's clown world. We need people to stand up against these corporations and prove to each other that we don't need them. They rule the world. We fuck the government. We need to band together, quit your job, don't pay rent, and tell them, I'm not leaving. Call the cops. Watch these companies fold like tinfoil. Two months into the COVID-19 pandemic, and there were businesses folding left and right. That was only two months in. Because people couldn't go to work because of COVID. You know, they had to self-quarantine and stuff. What would happen if a third of Amazon's employees said, I quit. And then went to unemployment offices and said, I wasn't treated humanitarianly. Humanitarian. I wasn't treated like a fucking human being. They wouldn't let me have pee breaks. They wouldn't let me have more than a 10 minute lunch break. Despite the government ordained eight hours gives you two 15s and a 30, Amazon gives you a 10 minute lunch break. That's it. You can't pee. You can't sneeze. You can't blink. Now, Bezos was talking about putting chips in people to keep track of where they are and their work capacity. Are you seriously? Are we drones? To, we're human beings, man. What the hell? Things won't change until we change and say, by God, I'm a fucking human being who demand to be treated like one. Until then, things won't change because the government can't help us. Like Trump tried, but the moment Trump wasn't in office, we went, being, we went back to being cattle. No, I'm sorry. Cattle has value. Uh, we went back to being drones. My opinion. I'm going to put this on my little opinion playlist. The education system is training your children to be drones. Lifeless, talentless, imaginationless drones. Full of ide- politically charged bullshit that isn't real or based on facts at all. And if they don't conform to it, they'll take your fucking kids. We gotta wake up, man. This has gotta stop. Human beings were not designed to live paycheck to paycheck. Human be- the suicide rate in this country is the highest it's ever been. 
the division in this country is the highest it's ever been. Black versus white versus Hispanic versus Asian, conservative versus liberal, uh, Republican versus Democrat. Hell, even being in the middle now will get you shit on. They divide us so that we spend so much time fighting each other that we don't look at them and go, you started this. You're the problem. Let's get them. Back in the 16, 17, 1800s, when you mistreated your workers, they show up to your house, they beat you to death in front of your family and burnt your house down. But because we live in a civil society, we can't do that anymore. So we can protest and we can go on strike, which people don't seem to do anymore. When's the last time you heard of someone going on strike? I haven't heard of strike since like the, two, the 90s, 2000s. Why? Because people are so broke, they can't afford to go on and strike. They can't afford to quit their jobs. They are hooked into the system where they pay you just enough to live. But not enough to fucking live. You're supposed to work to live. Not live to work. That's where we're at. And only a few well-chosen get to break through that glass ceiling. It's got to stop. It won't stop till we do something. And I will sit here and be that guy. That if there's a mass quitting, I will move to whatever community decides to do it. And I will live there and support them because it's got it's gotten to a point now. My mom moved into this apartment five years ago for eleven fifty a month. Five years later, it's fourteen seventy five a month. We haven't gotten any upgrades. Nothing's changed around us to make the property value go up. If the rent goes up every year, why? What happened to that agreement you signed when you got the place about this is the price? Till next year when we. Uh, well, if you want to keep living here, we're going to jack your shit up. And if you uh, choose not to pay, then we'll, we're going to call the cops and we're going to have you removed. And don't be fooled by these companies that, oh, well, we do millions of dollars of, uh, of, of, of charity work everywhere. And who owns those charities? Where does it go to? I have never seen a charity post a video on YouTube about what they actually accomplished. And even if they did, I probably wouldn't fucking believe it because to be honest with you, it's all bullshit. The media has been caught how many times faking news, faking video footage, faking testimonies, threatening people. I won't care if Red Cross put up or Salvation Army or Faith Farm or Habitat for Humanity or all the other you know, bullshit fucking charities posted some shit, but look what we've done this year. We've donated this much, and we've helped this many people prove it. I want statistics. I want paperwork. I want testimonies. I want to see your financial statements about where the money went, where the furniture, the food, the clothes went. I want to see it. Can't find it, though, can you? And even if you could, is it true? How do you know that they're not cooking the books? We have to be the change that we want. We have to be the change we want. No one's coming to save us. No one's coming to help us. America is the last frontier of freedom. If we fall, the world falls. It's not the government we have to be scared of anymore. It's the monopolies. It's the mega tycoons. Big pharma, big oil, big military, big tech. That's who runs the world. And they can so easily be foiled because guess what? Quit. And refuse to leave your living situation. Defend it to your last breath. If enough of us do that at once, at the same time, what are they going to do? Throw us all in prison? All 300 million of us. When people used to strike back in the day. Burn down the businesses they worked in. Go to the fucking owner's house. Beat them to death in front of their fucking families. Tar and feather them. Burn the house down. 
you should be afraid of your employees because we hold up your businesses. We are the blood that runs through the veins of your corporations. We are the lifeblood of this country, the working people, the lower to middle class. We are the lifeblood. We are the platform you stand on. Watch us say fuck you. Watch the silent majority go, I got something to say. And watch the whole corrupt temple fall down in biblical proportions. Have a nice night, y'all.